previously on Balls. Right now, though, we're very happy. And thank you very much for uh, coming out of a meeting. Nice to see you again. Looking well and fit as always. Out of the two former rugby players in this country, Tian Strauss and Ray Mort always look like yeah. they could run on the field tomorrow <laughs> and carry three All Blacks on their back. Yeah. How's it going, Tian? No, excellent, man. Very good. Yeah, I can sit the other day, you know, I was so frustrated with the, the guys, how they, um, how they played this. But, um, I might still be good. I might still be good for five months. You know, just gonna put in two hits and then run off again. All right. Uh, Tian, we're going to cut our camera. Don't worry. We're still here. It's just uh, just to increase, um, our, otherwise we're sharing bandwidth and stuff. So it just makes yours, your feed a lot better. We can still see you. And we can see the uh, photographs there of the, uh, I would assume those are the three Strauss uh, youngsters. Yes, they are. Uh, it's, a bit, uh, it's a year old photo, but um, no, they're still uh, just and giving me lots of problems. <laughs> All right, as kids, as kids will do. You are uh, looking very official, looking like you're uh, you're doing a, a, a highly, highly qualified day job. So, wh what do you get up to these days? No, yeah, we um, I'm, uh, I know, uh, work for Mega Pro, uh, which is part of the Prime Media Group. Okay, you're still with Mega Pro. Yeah. Well, it's been a while now, hey. Yeah, I started in March 2009. Yeah, so it's yeah just over three, sort of three and a half years now. And uh, look, uh, I mean, we all, I love sports, so it's a great industry to uh, to look in. And um, and you meet some great people, and um, you know some nice high-profile people that you work with. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just um, uh, great to be around the positive energy that uh, comes from sports people. All right, if your phone rings now, it's us. There it is. You can answer it. We'll keep chatting to you on the phone, Tian, because you're... Uh, uh, keep the picture up, so don't don't hang up your Skype. We'll still keep looking at you, and uh, we'll just chat to you on the phone. Is it all? Can you answer it? Yes, the ultimate. I say just be it. The telephone works nicely. The picture's still there, so it's all good. Uh, yeah, and another thing, and if you really want to have uh, someone that really gives some good, insightful analysis before and after games, I've done a couple of things with uh, Tian before test matches, uh, really, really entertaining and really cool. So, uh, do you still do a lot of that, that public speaking and talks and stuff around rugby and various things? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, it's a matter of you know time away from the family, so you've got to always um, manage it as as best as possible. But um, you know, it's um, it's always great to go to some of the special games and, and around the test. And um, yeah, you, you want to look for um, something different that. And giving some insight into into the game or the about the players that you know the normal guy in the street wouldn't know, and I think that creates the value for uh, for our viewers. Mm, absolutely. Um, why have Supersport never hired you full time? I don't know. I um, I mean maybe there's a, a problem being in in, uh, in Joburg, and I'm the only Cape Town. So uh, Nick Mallet does Nick all right. Mallet does that. Kempson does it. Does his thing. Come on. They must, uh, yeah, they must I don't know. <laughs> I did a few uh, few gigs around the World Cup, you yeah. know, and it's um, it's quite hard. You're traveling up the previous night and spend the whole day there, you know, mm. for uh, for one game. So it is it's quite a big commitment. And also, if you're still uh, working full time, it's um, difficult to fit it in. Yeah. Do you still have much contact with Wallaby Rugby at all? I mean, I've, I've, you know, obviously you must still stay in touch with one or two of the players that you played with. But uh, do you still have any contact with the guys? Yes, no, definitely. The you know the guys I played with in that '99 World Cup squad uh, is a great bunch of guys, and uh, I still keep in regular contact with them. I go. I've got also got a, a wine export company. You know I, um, that I export wine to uh, to Australia and New Zealand and a bit to Asia. So I go to Australia still twice a year, and then um, normally set up a long lunch with uh, with a few of the Australians and. Um, have a few good wines and we <laughs> we quite argue about uh, who's got the best wines and the best rugby team and uh, but it's all good fun and normally we end up uh, having quite a, too many wines yeah I can imagine uh, and um, uh, uh, what uh, so do you actually have your own wine farms and stuff as well do you, do you own a farm or do you have a farm or anything no, my um, uh, or the farm I've got ownership is, uh, is still in the Kalahari where I grew up so okay. uh, but my uh, my wife's family has got a farm in uh, in Stellenbosch called Stellenre. Oh, okay. They're, um, yeah, nice one. Close to Waterford and Stellenzicht. So uh, mm. I try and um, 
help them a little bit promote their uh, their wines. All right, fantastic. Well, some of our listeners on 91.3 in the Western Cape will be very familiar with those farms and familiar with one or two of those. Uh, a little pop quiz for you on the subject of that. Whose birthday is it today? I think he's a... No, I don't know if he played with you. I think he would have come before you, but it's somebody... Another Springbok's birthday today. On the 23rd. Uh, he's, shoot. No, I wouldn't. Shall I give you his age? He's give you his, is I'll he? give you his age. He's 59. 59. Very big in the wine inch. I don't know if he's still involved, but he was very he big. Oh, yeah, I know him. I know him. It was his uh, birthday last night. Yeah, it was freaking a deer. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, I know. Empy's to toy. Oh, it's Empy's birthday as well. No, because... Frickin' Odea, he played, he played for Western Province fullback and he was the president of, um, uh, oh, he's still the president of, of Marty's, of Stellamus Rugby. It's his 60th uh, birthday today. Okay. Okay. Well, so the MP's just 59th. All right, I'll have to send him a text. There we go. There we go. Send him an SMS. And Happy birthday, MP's. And Tim, I also know you're very good friends with uh, Ernie too. Ernie else? Yeah, no, look, I see any um, every year, at the end of the year, we go um, holiday there close to play at Kier Rooms, and he goes to Harold's Bay, and then we um, we normally play a few games uh, together and uh, have a few barbecues. So, uh, yeah, sure, I'm I, sure I those still, are fun. Um, <laughs> I'm <laughs> still uh, keeping in regular contact with him. So, uh, yeah, I know it was great to see him win that Open yeah. this year. It was, I think he really, you know, he really needed it, and I... I always tell the story about four or five years ago I was at Wentworth when he still lived there and I I walked into his garage and there were about 14 or 15 putters um, standing against the wall and then um, he's in serious trouble. He's got no confidence in his putter. <laughs> <laughs> So it looks like it's come back a little bit, and I'm, I'm very happy for you. Yes. Yeah, also, as we've uh, seen as well, getting involved with Cheryl Caldo, who's doing some fabulous work in various sports teams. So she's also been working with Ernie, and I think that's uh, sorted his putting out quite a bit. Um, Tiana, it's lucky to catch up with you, man, and thank you very much for taking some time out for uh, to chat to us today. Uh, maybe just a couple of predictions on, uh, on the weekend stuff while we've got you. Simon? Uh, yeah, Tian Griqua's Free State Cheetahs. In Kimberley. Um, look, I, I think the Free State, you know, they were quite impressive against the Bulls. Um, so it um, seems like they're hitting their straps. And, and I think their experience, um, you know, during the, the, the Super Rugby season would uh, would come good. And uh, I think that will be too strong for Greek West. All right. And they've got little Huerson back as well. We, everyone's very excited. Well, I'm yes. very excited to see him back and, and playing again. Because he is some, someone that we're going to have, going to do yeah, big things for us in the future. It's a real pity that we, uh, you know, couldn't give him a chance now, um, you know, maybe during one of the English tests or, or now, you know, just to see, to bring him in slowly, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, other games? Lions Province, Joburg. Oh, that's easy, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. No, it is. <laughs> Lions. No, I must say, um, the Lions, I don't know. It seems like, you know, they, uh, they haven't lost. Um, hardly any of their players to the Springbok so and, and, and Promise obviously lost quite a few key players so I think it will be um, will be a very close close game but um, yeah I think Province I'll have to you know vote with my heart a little bit there so there just Promise with uh, three points or so alright and uh, Sharks against Bulls Bulls in Pretoria I think Saudi's back eh all right, yeah. No, I think, um, look, the Sharks have been uh, very impressive against Province, and um, this is always difficult at, uh, at Loftus, but, yeah, the Bulls, I don't know. They, don't, they haven't shown me much. There's uh, a lot of youngsters, so I'll, I'll love to back the Sharks. Everyone going Sharks for that game, in, even if it's in Pretoria. Not me. And uh, by how many do you think the Wallabies are going to get beaten in, uh, in New Zealand this weekend? Yeah, uh, 20 points maybe, yeah. yeah. I think it will be convincing. Uh, Quaid Cooper back uh, might give him some bit of injection, but, you know, Eden Park is always uh, intimidating and uh, yeah. I can't see them win there. And, of course, the box to beat Argentina, even if it is in Mendoza. Yeah, look, it's a, it's a hostile environment. I mean, remember when we toured there, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be tough. It's, it's going to be a lot tougher. It's going to be a lot closer, but I just can't see the... Argentinians don't have the, you know, just uh, the ability to score tries. They haven't got, uh, you know, the, the the players. So um, the box should win easy. All right, cool. One more final one from you, Simon. Yeah, just something about the family, Tian. I want to know, are all three of your daughters at Rhenish Primary? 
No, there is actually a, it's a bit confusing in the household. So the oldest one is in uh, Bloomhof High. Okay. The second, the second one is in uh, Rhenish High, and the third one is in Rhenish uh, Primary. So I'm all over the show. Oh, okay. Because I went to Rhenish Primary. They're getting a good education there. Yeah, no, the, yeah. the school um, is um, great education there, and. Um, Really doing, uh, doing well. Yeah, oh, it must be a good because look what he's doing now. He's sitting on a radio station. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tion, um, t- obviously, uh, you know, being very close to to Andres and uh, being family, do you speak a lot to him? Do you uh, to keep in touch? He's not family of Andres Strauss. Not. No, he's not. He's not family of. Me. Oh, uh, geez, oh, Johnny. Look, uh, Johnny. It might be, it might be, very, you know, like great, great. Yes. Three, but um, not. Uh, I can't put a direct line. <laughs> no, sorry, Tina. Tina, you call him Tina. Tina, it's nice to Thank chat you, to you, Tien. but all the best and uh, yeah, enjoy the rugby this weekend and good luck with all the business stuff. And uh, it's good to see you looking so well. Thanks for chatting <laughs> to us. No, it's a pleasure, guys. And uh, yeah, keep on uh, good work on your show. Thanks very much, Bye, Tian. 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 Bye-bye. 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 There we go. Tian Strauss joining us on uh, <laughs> Skype. This afternoon here on Balls Visual Radio. We the best on three. One, two, three. We the best. 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Mondays to Fridays live on balls.co.za. Balls.co.za.